What is the difference between BTS and other boy band groups making comebacks? I think we're gonna find out today. Let's go! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Landon and we're here again today with another BTS poll winning video. Today we need to say thank you so much to Sunny who recommended a video called BTS versus boy bands coming back. I don't know exactly what it means, but Sunny says here in the note, this channel has been creating hit after hit in the video essay department. I thought you'd have fun checking some of them out. Okay, this is fun. Before we start, I want to say thank you to everybody that participated in the giveaways. Specifically, thank you so much to Keisha. Thank you to everybody that entered and thank you to everybody that supports me in any type of way. It really does mean so much to me and I would hope that I could do this for a long time and I couldn't do it without you guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into our video today. The channel Sunny was talking about is Bora City Magazine. Let's check it out. It's not very clear in which moment exactly BTS exploded in the U.S. I, I was I there. Uh, I was because there. Because success is more than a result of an increasing growth rather than a hit song or a band. However, since their first appearance on an American award show at the 2017 BB Amaze and their US TV debut at the 2017 AMAs, it was clear that they became the biggest boy band in America and in the world. However, this was seen as a fluke. Many believe that since One Direction did not exist anymore, the industry needed a new four. boy band just like them to replace them. History mm -hmm. showed that it had always been this way. Yeah. BTS was just a random group that became the most popular only because there were no other options available. Right? Wrong! Oh yeah, Cinco. Is it Cinco? The Western music no, industry what is had several attempts to create their next big boy band. The Miami-based boy band CNCO debuted the same month One Direction announced their hiatus, and they were also formed like them in a TV music competition. I didn't know that and drama. They tried gaining a Latin American audience first, which by the way, they succeeded at that. The group eventually had eyes on an American audience. Reason why they did many interviews in American media and released versions of their songs featuring English speaking artists such as Little Mix and Megan Trainor. Even though CNCO had a couple of hits in Latin America, they couldn't break into the American music industry. Forever in Your Mind was another boy band formed in a TV music competition that tried to fill the Boy Weren't they from space. Disney Channel? Actually, it was the same competition Something with like from that? One Direction, The X Factor, but this time in its American version. Even Disney put money on them and signed them to their label. I thought so. The promotion included appearances as guest actors on Disney shows, releases of Disney songs medleys, and playing their songs on Radio Disney and their music videos on the Disney Channel. Despite all of this, the group saw almost no success in the industry. The British trio New Hope Club was Never heard also of them. formed at the end of 2015, That's the first one I haven't heard of. Created by the group The Pumps. Simon Cowell, who formed One Direction, formed the American Canadian boy band pretty much in 2016. I thought that was the NCO. Okay, I'm so well. bad. The American boy band Why Don't We was also formed in 2016. But when Atlantic Records decided to sign them in 2017, it was too late. BTS had already stepped foot in America. That makes sense. There were okay. There many attempts to fill the space of the biggest boy band in the world, but none of them could fill the title. There were many, many options, and the public chose BTS, an Asian group from South Korea who didn't sing in English and who was not signed by an American label. Except now, did y'all see the news? <laughs> Hitman bang over here, buying up more stuff. They just acquire what was a quality control records, whatever, has like Migos Lil Baby City Girls on it. Not owned by an American label yet, because Bang hadn't bought it yet. <laughs> I'm so brown. I'm so brown. South Korea, who didn't sing in English and who was not signed by an American label. While these labels intensely debuted their boy bands from the beginning of 2016 to the end of 2017, BTS took this couple of years to continue growing little by little in the Western I like music that, because it's true, baby However, steps. because the many failed attempts didn't reach the general public, the Western music industry was still thinking that BTS' success in America was a fluke. And if new boy bands cannot compete against them, then the comeback of all boy bands definitely can. This is oh. why when BTS started receiving all the American awards I for the see where this is going there was a wave of dead boy bands new kids back. on the block Joe uh Jonas Brothers the Jonas Brothers reunited on March of 2019 after a six-year breakup their combat song Sucker became the biggest song of their career as a group debuting at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 
The promotion for this song was huge. The brothers had interviews with many radio and TV stations. They appeared every day on the Late Late Show with James Corden from March 4th to March 7th. Damn. But most importantly, the song was played so much on radio that it became the number one song on US radio at the moment. It looked like they were going to take the crown for the biggest boy band like back in their day. But only two months after their comeback, BTS released Boy With Love. And the Jonas Brothers' popularity was shadow. The industry didn't quit though. The Chicago Tribune even released an article predicting BTS. Oh! Because the Jonas. Do you excuse me, Chicago? Chicago? What am I trying to say? The Tribune? Why do people write shit like that? Like, I mean, I get it. I am a YouTuber. Y'all don't see me out here doing clickbait, though. I'm not like, BTS is the only group that can actually sing and no other group can actually sing or dance. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not that type of person. So when I see shit like this, it makes me really, really vengeful. It makes me, like, just want to go and, like, talk to their mothers. <laughs> <laughs> the Jonas Brothers are back with Happiness Begins just in time to show the BTSs. Okay, first off, you stupid fucking bitch. Don't you ever say the word BTSs again. <laughs> don't you ever fucking say BTSs again. I will literally pop it out your mouth, okay? How it's really done. Okay. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what Rarity happens. Rarity was shadow. The industry didn't quit, though. The Chicago Tribune even released an article predicting BTSs downfall because the Jonas Brothers are back and just in time to show the BTSs of the world how it's really done. The prediction failed completely. Because of Sucker and Boy With Love, both groups were rightfully nominated for the Best Group and Group of the Year categories at the Kid Choice Awards, the MTV Europe Music Awards, the MTV Video Music Awards, the American Music Awards, and the Billboard Music Awards. Additionally, both music videos were nominated at the IHA Radio Music Awards. Keep it coming, BTS baby. won five of the six mm. categories for the Jonas Brothers mm. were also nominated. The same thing happened the next year. Oh, Only really? this time, the Jonas Brothers received less nominations than in their comeback year. This is oh. because even though their comeback song was big, their next big single didn't get far. It couldn't even get to number one on iTunes because of BTS's surprise release of Black Swan. The nostalgia <laughs> Not was Black. gone. Com Not Black Swan being the reason that it failed. Also, because <laughs> y'all know Black Swan is my personal favorite bird of choice. It's my lift me up song. It's my if I hadn't heard the song, yes, I would love BTS. But hearing Black Swan in the exact time I needed to hear Black Swan just snapped it like that, like a motherfucking Thanos snap. I was in this army ship for life. You know what I mean? Compared to the Jonas Brothers, the many other comebacks that will follow seem extremely small. The British boy band JLS announced a comeback in. 2019, reuniting after a six year I never heard split. of them either, in right? In the group signed a record deal with BMG and they released their comeback album in 2021, which peaked at number four in UK charts. I want to know who they are, I don't know. In 2021, the American boy band Big Time Rush announced that if one of their posts gets 500,000 likes, they will come back. They had not reached that number of likes till this day, but they had a comeback anyways. Shade! Never the do that, people! made no appearances on charts, but it peaked at number 10 on US iTunes, while their second single peaked at 32. They wanted another comeback in 2021, after oh, a rest seven year peace. hiatus with a new single, a greatest hits album, and a tour. Okay, and I'm not gonna recently, talk about them. British Bourbon Union J announced the comeback of the group in 2022, with its original members after many replacements and disbandments. Of course, Never heard of Union J either. these groups intended to surpass BTS, like The Wanted, for example, who are just trying to reunite with their fans and donate to charities in honor of yeah, like, do your thing for sure. Parker, who got diagnosed with Oh my cancer god, it's like I got me chills. That was such, such a sad story. However, in some other cases, the skepticism and blatant jealousy was clear. Not only jealousy that they did not become the most popular boy band, but jealousy that an Asian group were the ones winning that title. These groups, their labels, and the Western music industry believe that even though BTS is bigger than these groups ever were, the world needs a proper boy band. And by proper boy band, they mean a white boy band. I feel like it's like a different, like they belong in a different genre on their own because I feel like there still needs to be like a European or an American boy band to be at the top. And they're good I, dancers. I can't, I can't get behind it. I don't understand what they're saying. I got it. I, got I just, it. I can't go to a concert. Who is the Zach Sang show producer, dude? I liked him. Why was he agreeing with them? Zachary, check your people. 
what they're saying. I got it. I got I just, it. Come on. Here, right? I, I can't go to a concert and not understand a word I'm listening. I don't Another like that. Another that probably sings in America and has to exist alongside them. I sings girl- in America. Okay, I'm done. No, honestly, I, I became a big Zack Sang fan after discovering BTS. I would have never heard of Zack Sang or any of this without BTS. So first off, you remember that little dude over there on the headset. I'm not, I don't mean little dude. I, that just made me very mad because I literally just abs- assumed that everybody in that building understood the assignment, that we really understood what these boys were doing because that always seemed like that. But I didn't see Zack in this interview. So I need to see if he was around. I'm very disappointed in that. Stand a word I'm listening. Another boy band that probably sings in American has to exist alongside them. I, the girls are singing in Korean. <laughs> and I don't even know if they know what they're singing, but they're doing it. Do you think there's room for all these boy bands that are out now to succeed? I think what'll happen is one will become I mean it, it could be BTS. us, it could be it could be any of them. <laughs> Do you think BTS Damn. is a success in America? Because when they, no, when they, they're not being radio put on the radio. Play is like because it's not American. one of the most boy band fangirls probably i would say majority of them aren't over one direction yet like i think there needs to be an american boy band and whether it happens in this year or the next five years whenever it happens it's gonna happen and they're gonna live and coincide with bts because it's two different things so are you saying in two three years from now you think bts is going to be massive in america like they are currently <laughs> if they we'll make we'll american lyrics. A, a, they'll get played if like selena gomez called him up and said i want to do a song with you i'll sing american y'all look and so and bitter and jealous that'll, that'll get played on the radio that but it's not Definitely because not. BTS is on it. It's because Selena Gomez is singing American on it. Would, you guys think you're the ones to take BTS to the next level? <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> down. I mean, I'd do it. That's the- this group tried for all. <laughs> I would never show my fucking face again. Who do you think you are? You signed on the Disney Channel. I remember y'all, right? Y'all are the ones that signed on Disney Channel and flopped. Like, even playing all your stuff on Disney Channel couldn't get y'all any promo. Couldn't make y'all the success. If you are trying to be a boy band and you're getting played on Disney Channel 24-7 and you still can't find success, I'm so sorry, sweeties. It's time to reevaluate. Maybe what they were doing by not singing in American was exposing the world to music that we would have never heard before. Exposing the world to different cultures, to different opinions, different walks of life, a different sounding music made with lyrics that you can translate and read, so don't say we don't know what they're talking about, that have been 100 million times better than something that they have ever written. I need to go and see. What is their name again? God, I cannot remember their name. If I die or something? What is it? Forever in your something? Boy group forever in your mind. Oh, and like one of the first articles disagrees with BTS's success. Like that's still haunting them. <laughs> that's literally what comes up by typing boy group forever in your mind. And the top stories are still BTS related. That's hilarious. I would not be going this hard if you didn't feel the need to go that hard on the Zack Sang show. Okay, mister, thank you. I need to watch it. I want to make like a Tucker Carlson response video to that. I need to take the down. That's the next level. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm down. down. <laughs> 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 this group tried for BTS the next level. What does this pop up no, say? Down. Forever in Your Mind released a non-album single smooth, that's what I just looked for, on April 28th, 2017, after their blah 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 blah, never heard of it. I mean, I knew it. That's the- this group tried for only two years, and because they didn't get immediate results, they quit. They haven't released music since 2018. Oh. just like Victim Rush, they asked for a number of likes to come back. Never and do that. Not even close. Not the even close. Do not only come from white boy bands. Many of us would think that a Latin American boy band that sings in Spanish would that she was fucking racist. I hope that these people can like foreign artists in America. Understand? But that was not the case with this group. Han visto los coreanos, BTS. Yeah, yeah, BTS. Yo digo que ellos son como la versión de CNCO pero en en coreano. No, sí. I didn't think I would get angry. I thought this was a funny compilation. You know, I thought this was gonna be like, hee hee, look at BTS. I've never seen this evidence before and it's very, very annoying. I understand, no I don't. I already don't understand the racism coming from groups like Forever In Your Butt, but I, I really don't understand this type of racism mocking coming from a group that is also speaking in a non-American native language or whatever, trying to break into it a Western world. Like that's crazy to me. I literally just watched the Grammys and they put on Bad Bunny's subtitle saying singing in non-English. 
That felt so wrong to me. And they're over here, I don't know. I'm just saying like, you're still not getting your representation that we are trying to fight for for you as well. And the fact that you are still trying to mock and stuff. Okay, I'm sounding like I'm the person that's like bringing on the change. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not. I am just so upset by people that are trying to break into the same market. And the fact, not even did you only say, oh, I'm not a fan of their music. You like mocked them in a very racist way. That's canceled. Like this canceled. Thank you so much for, okay, we'll do our thank yous after because I have a lot to say. We say a lot about racism and xenophobia in America, but also show that even though BTS are number one and armies are seen by many as scary, the industry does not respect them. Not even enough to pretend they do. So One Direction became the most popular boy band, other groups did not try so Why? hard to compete against them. One Direction was not seen as a fluke. Their success was seen as natural I'm going to realistic. punch everything. But when BTS sees an organic growth in popularity, the industry tries to deny it, cries about it, and fails to defeat them. We are launching X Factor, the band. We're going to try and find either the biggest boy group in the world or the biggest girl group in the world. We've done it before. We're going to do it again. Right now, K-pop, you could argue, is ruling the world. Now, it's time for UK pop. In the case of the debuts, the new groups just follow the same formula. I've seen that performance. Which would have worked in other times, but not in the I think I saw that on like TikTok or something. Kids. They really thought that the next big thing was going to be a Western boy band that does not have any spectacular <laughs> talent. And if they do, they don't show it until they disband. And start not the military march progress. choreography. The industry focused <laughs> too much on the leading groups that have the one direction typical song oh my with God. guys that seem relatable. They they had the budget, but there was no art, Thank no you. fashion, no new sound, no big performances, no passion, and no effort. The old boy bands at least tried to deliver the performance aspect, but they couldn't compete against BTS's experience of almost nine years being fully active in the music industry as a group. BTS was able to become the biggest Korean act with limited resources, then transcend the K-pop label, then become the most popular group in the world, and now be one of the biggest acts in the industry, competing with the biggest male and female soloists. And who knows, there may be more boy band comebacks, but as Liam Payne from One Direction said, BTS are more focused on their careers. I was just about to say, hold on, hold on, I have a lot to say. They can keep trying, but as BTS grows in popularity, it gets harder and harder for mediocre white boy bands to be celebrated in the industry. Yeah, thank you, that's it right there. We see what talent is. Sorry. Okay, first off, thank you so much to Bora City Magazine. I needed to see that. Thank you so much to Sunny for sharing this with me. Now listen. One member of BTS has more talent than all of your groups combined. Did you hear me? One member of BTS has more talent than all your members combined. No one knows you. No one cares about you. Give it up. You lose. BTS won. Ha ha. Is that clear enough? The fact that these fucking white boys got on these shows, TikTok, Instagram, or whatever, and have the fucking audacity to say that BTS sounds like a girl. They're never gonna make it. They're gonna beat BTS. No. <laughs> Woo! When you stop doing moves like this, as your main fucking chorus move, bitch. And not just a silly little thing that you do on the sidelines while you don't have choreography like BTS does. BTS, when they don't have choreography to this song, their choreography is still better than yours. Okay, I don't know who I'm talking to anymore. I'm gonna go off. I have to go, I have to go. I have more videos to watch and I cannot enter into that being angry. Once again, thank you so much to Sunny for this. I needed it, I didn't need it, I did need it. I wanna make a documentary. I wanna make a documentary exposing everybody. <laughs> this was a documentary, so I'm not gonna do it. But I just want, to, I just gotta like, I gotta go scream it to the world. <laughs> this is why I fucking defend these boys. This is why I make videos of them all the time. This is why I do what I do because the world needs to fucking see. This is not okay. It's not okay for you to disregard talent and push people people aside, think you're better than them just because you don't understand their music. <laughs> Sweeties. Let me tell you this a little bit, CNCO. Spanish music is dominating the Western world right now and y'all still can't make it. Okay. Forever in your butt. Disney played y'all on the channel over and over. I remember y'all's faces. You still didn't make it.
<laughs> Big time rush. You were on a Nickelodeon TV show. Okay. Had every opportunity for free promo literally every week to millions of children. <laughs> you still didn't make it. You're washed up. Okay, that's my final note for you. I hope you have a blessed day today where you're sitting in your big mansions with the money you made from your past career because who knows what your future will hold. Thank you. Karma's coming back, bitch. <laughs> I'm done. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed. I love you so much. I'll be back soon. Bye. love to know them by name. So, 